Some of you are at your computer with the feet down. Hi, Sheila and Phyllis. So if you are in that position, if you have the feet flat on the floor, try and um, ground yourself there for the, for the moment. Feel the, the soles of the feet, the pinky, pinky mounds, the toe mounds, and then the pads of the toes. Feel the weight of your uh, lower leg and the ankles and the feet. Feel the weight of your the body on top of your sits bones, the shoulders are aligned with the hips. And then just lengthen the spine. Just uh, imagine your spine is a, a string of pearls of light and you're stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. So nicely uh, lengthening. Allow the um, top of the head crown just to release and relax. And notice when you relax the skin, or think about relaxing all those little hair pores, pores where the hair is growing out. Just what relaxes on your face, relax the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, relax the back of the head, the neck, allow the shoulders and the shoulder blades to drop down, relax the throat, the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. And just notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And be aware of the sounds in your environment. So just allow those sounds to be there. Try not to follow them with the mind. We're so happily distracted. And then um, notice the thoughts that are arising. So maybe you have work unfinished from today. Maybe you have a busy day tomorrow. Maybe you're tired and want to go to bed. Maybe you've got a conversation going on in your mind from today. So just allow the thoughts to arise and have a look at them and perhaps you can categorize them. Maybe it could be today's conversation with so-and-so. Tomorrow's work. Tomorrow's planning. Ruminating. And perhaps you can put all these conversations and thoughts and feelings onto a nice maybe a white fluffy cloud and just just allow that cloud to float away so whatever's arising try not to criticize or fault it just notice it be curious about what's there and just as we would do as if we were sitting on the bank of a river watching it flow on by just notice the river notice the quality of the water and then know that while you're sitting on that bank, you're free from the river. Now bring to mind some people of your life, your loved ones, your very dear friends, and then those who you don't like so much, and then your strangers. And just reflect on how you feel about them and how these relationships just ebb and flow. So, you know, when you hear about a, a stranger may be in hospital with COVID, for example, and you're like, oh, gosh, that's really awful, hospital person in the hospital. But if, you're, if your dear friend, if your best friend has COVID, you're checking in with them like several times a day. Are you okay? Can I bring you food? Do you know what I mean? The level of concern for that person is much higher. It should be the same for everyone. The one who's you don't like so much probably couldn't care less. Strangers couldn't really care less. And then I think that they're all the same. However, they all have a wish to be healthy and happy and well. They all have a wish to be free from suffering. And they all have this capacity for Buddhahood. So I think we'll do this meditation this evening for all these people of our life and all sentient beings. <clears throat> and think particularly of all these people in um, in this area now in Israel, around Gaza. People lost their homes, their families. There's children at the festival who are missing now. People are being kidnapped. 
That just looked like an absolute nightmare. I mean, lots of bombs going off, so terrifying as well. So just send your heart, your love, your light to that area of the world. There was also an earthquake in Afghanistan, but we're not hearing terribly much about it. But most of the houses there are made of mud, so they all just kind of collapsed. And then think of this precious human rebirth that we have, that we have these beautiful solid houses that we, that have... Um, you know, building rules in areas like in around here in the Bay Area in California, you can't just build a house. You there are certain rules for trying to give people the best possible opportunity to not be killed in an earthquake. So we live in a society that is taking care of us mostly. So here we just reflect on how fortunate we are to have the life we have, that we can all turn up tonight. We have internet and we have freedom to be able to join this meditation for, you know, even just 30 minutes. So I think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech. So think about that. Just feel regret for any anything you've done, even if it's unconscious. You know, often we, because of these habits that we have, one person I met this week calls them habit energies, which is quite sweet. So we create negativity in our mind. This is where it starts. So we can change it by creating positivity instead. So we start with the power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all past lives and think of specific actions of both your body and your speech and then in general just regret all and the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma and we experience everything due to our past karma our past actions and so having harmed others we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future we cannot bear the thought of the future suffering that we ourselves will experience we know from our present suffering we don't want any more. So logically it makes sense. We want to you know, pull out the weeds, pull out these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. And also regret any anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. And reliance has two little sections, refuge and developing compassion. So here we have our Buddha, Vajrasattva, who is painted on canvas. But actually what you want to imagine is a light body above the crown of your head. Also, you can imagine this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit and he's made of radiant blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion has this beautiful radiant face his eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life he has a sweet red mouth um, his hair is black and it's held up in a top knot his arms are crossed at his heart the left underneath the right the left is holding a bell representing wisdom and the right is holding a Vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two. And this symbolizes enlightenment, infinite wisdom, infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings and the very beings we've harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of people you've harmed recently and in the past, and then in general, all beings we have ever harmed since beginningless time. And then remember those who have harmed you, and you can have compassion for them because they are going to suffer as a result of the harm they've done to you. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think 
I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy. And this is the medicine, doing the practice of purification using mantra and visualization. So imagine Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, and it's sort of like coming out of a hose or a shower head. You know those kind of super shower heads you can get that are kind of like quite forceful, or you can imagine them if you've been to Niagara Falls or any waterfalls around you, maybe on Hawaii somewhere. Just imagine these waterfalls just pushing all of the negativity, filling you completely, enters your crown, and pushes forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space. Not one atom left, as for us. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagoan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimuta Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe, ambadra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dita mebowa, sitokaya mebowa, sipokaya mebowa, anaracta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dita mebowa sitokaya mebowa sipokaya mebowa anaracta mebowa sawa sidi mimpi yato sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anaracta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anaracta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dita mebowa, sitokaya mebowa, sipokaya mebowa, anaracta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sattva A Hum Te So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So next is the purification of your speech and Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and this arc surround and forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, and this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So you can just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anaracta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambhaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita mebowa, sitokaya mebowa, sipokaya mebowa, anaracta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe, ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dita mebowa, sitokaya mebowa, sipokaya mebowa, 
on a rectum mebo al sawa city mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shiam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago and sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe and vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita dida mebo al sito kaya mebo al sipo kaya mebo al on a rectum mebo al sawa city mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Am vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dino patita. Dida me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. Anorakta me boa sawa sidi min piyatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana rectum me boa sawa sidi min piyatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech, including yourself. Because every time you talk, you hear it every time you write, you see it. So next is the purification of the mind of Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same You when you walk into a pitch black room, you flick on that switch, the light instantly dispels the darkness. So the same here, the moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your attachment and neediness and bitterness and grudges and jealousy and depression, resentment, all of this instantly dispelled, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Vajrasapta Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapta Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapta Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapta Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Ana Rakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Min Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum
pe. So be delighted, all your delusions, and these are the source of all of our own suffering, our delusions, and why we harm others with our body and our speech, including ourselves. Just imagine these are the delusions are gone, purified, finished. And now there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. Just feel your heart expanding. And it doesn't matter who was right and who was wrong over there in the Middle East. Just try and send love and compassion in that direction. So next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And imagine that Vajrasattva sends light and nectar. It fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from the mind. Anarakta-mebo-wa-sawa-sidi-mempi-yatsa-sawa-kama-sitam-me-sitam-shriyam-kuru-hum-ha-ha-ha-ho-bhagawan-sawa-tata-gata-vajramam-e-mutsa-v
got to want to do it. You have to make a decision. So start by, first of all, rejoicing in your efforts. Some of you almost three years of doing this practice, five nights a week. Some of you are actually doing on the weekend as well. Amazing. So rejoice. Just, just know that by doing that, by turning your mind in that direction, you're making a difference. And then think of something that you want, want to work on, something that's particular to you. Maybe you, I don't know, maybe you make stuff up or, you know, try just say things to try and make people happy, but they might not necessarily be, I don't know, valid or perhaps even sincere. Or maybe you talk about people. Maybe you complain. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you that goes on in the mind that you know might not be virtuous, so I think I'll, I'll work on that for a little bit between now and tomorrow. It doesn't have to be this big heavy thing. You can just think about it in the supermarket while you're checking out or while you're on the freeway. Just pay a little bit of attention to what's happening in the mind. And this determination, this decision we make, this working on these things is what gives us strength to change. And we, and like I've been saying, just you know, journal it, then you can see, you know, the shift. So now imagine to conclude, Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think. My guru's body, speech, and mind, and Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind are the same. And next, this little, just a little bit on emptiness. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a little while. We can think of all phenomena as being empty. They don't exist from their own side. You can also think that the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we have created doing this purification to all living beings and think may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And I don't see Hin here tonight, so send some, send lots of love and best wishes to her. She's now in uh, at-home hospice. So they've stopped treatment. So send lots of love her direction. And then all those people over there in the in the Israel Gaza Strip area. And then for those of you who have His Holiness the Dalai Lama as a teacher, maybe just a strong wish in your heart for His Holiness to live long, for the swift return of Lama Zoprimshe, and then any of your own teachers. You know, it doesn't have to be, like I said, it could be your kindy teacher, kindergarten teacher. We say kindy in Australia. Shorten everything, uni, kindy, demo, <laughs> just goes on. <laughs> anyway, just make a strong wish for your own personal teachers to live long because they've benefited you in some way. All right, lots of love, everybody. Tomorrow we're going to do Chen Rezig, and I'll see you then. Okay, thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Sleep Thanks. well.